Hi everybody, uh, this is Jeff from BackyardWaterGarden.com and today we're going to install a UV light into the pond before the season starts because last season we had an algae problem and we're going to hope to avoid that this year. So before we get started, the first thing we're going to do is um, unplug our waterfall. So we'll come over here and do that. And then the next thing you want to do is if your system uh, has a check valve, you're going to have to loosen up your connections to, uh, to release the water. So we're going to loosen this up and let the water flow out just to clear all the water from our line so we can get started. Just be careful when you're doing that, you don't drop your drill into your water. We'll just let that drain out. As you can see, the waterfall stopped, and as soon as this is done draining, we can get started. This is the UV light that I purchased, and the reason I got this light in particular is because the price was right. I got it on clearance last year in the uh, in the fall, so that's a little little tip for you. If if you're looking for a light, uh, shop around at the end of the season, and you might be able to pick up a good deal. So. Uh, this is what comes with the light. I'm gonna open the box up here. Okay. Now it comes with uh, minimal fittings. All right. I got a little bag of fittings here, as you can see. I do this one hand is a little difficult. Um, this allows you to to create a, a few different orientations with this particular light. Uh, with the fittings they give you there. Uh, the light itself is packaged here. You can see it's, it's fairly large, it's about three three feet or so long. So now it's it's April here and uh, it's about 30 degrees outside but I'm very impatient uh, when it comes to getting outside and uh, I'm working on things so I don't know if it's considered rush the season but um, that's what I'm going to be doing is uh, freezing and trying to get this hooked up. Now in the end here, there's a glass tube. The bulb is in this this uh, piece of cardboard here. There's a glass tube oops, um, inside the light that the light sits in to keep it out of the water. So we're going to take this out. It's very important to take this out before you do any gluing of PVC so you don't drip any glue on this light because this is what's going to clean up your algae problem. So we're going to set that aside. All right, now I did a little shopping beforehand. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to um, glue this all up in the house before we head outside just so, uh, so I'm not exposed to that frigid temperature for too long. So um, we'll come back after I get the, uh, the piece is glued up, but I have a few valves here. Now my the line for my pond is a two inch line, so this is going to be the main valve, and then these two are going to go to the uh, UV light. Uh, be careful when you're hooking up your UV light. There is an input and an output, and it's designed to flow a certain way, so make sure you, you read your manufacturer's instructions as to uh, the inlet and the outlet um, of your light. All right, so we'll come back after I have the uh, the PVC all cut and put together, and then we'll we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so what we did was we went through and we cut all the pieces of pipe and we dry fit them together okay um, I know earlier in my video I said that we were gonna do this in the house but apparently it's very messy and uh, my wife doesn't appreciate that as much as I do so we're gonna do this out here on this pallet okay so all you're gonna do is just take one piece at a time so you don't lose track of what's what and we're just gonna take these apart and glue them back together Okay, 
So now as you can see, I'm a little out of breath. So that, that means spring's here and I can get back in shape. <laughs> we have long winters here. Anyways, what I've done is uh, dug out around the pipe. Make sure you, you clear it all the way around so that you have access to it. Now, this particular UV light is three feet from input to output. So what I've done is dug out about a four foot section to give myself some extra room on either end. So um, we'll get the light and hold it up to the um, return pipe and then we'll make our cuts. Okay, so we have our whole apparatus glued up, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the existing pipe and glue this right in place. Um, so I'm gonna mark this end first, cut it and glue it, and then I'm gonna come over to this end. I'm gonna cut it a little long. This, this pipe here, the, the black pipe is flexible, so if I make it a little long, um, that'd be okay because we will flex it in. It's better to be too long than too short, so. All right, I just wanted to show you something about this uh, UV light real quick, how it works. And what it has in it, if you take this end off here, inside is a glass crystal tube, and that's what your light sits in. Um, there's a lot of rubber gaskets in here. You have to make sure that they're seated properly to create a watertight seal so that you don't get water leaking into where your light bulb is. But that's pretty much it. This sits in the center of this black tube and the water flows around it and that's what, what kills your algae. So we're going to put this back in here. And there's a little thing in the bottom that holds the crystal tube. And then you just hand thread this on. Hand tight. And we should be ready to go. All right, my original thought was I was just gonna hard glue this right into the black pipe, return pipe, but I think that's a bad idea. And the reason being that I can't remove it easily if I need to. So what I'm gonna do now is I went and got these boots. I'm gonna put an extension on there so I can just use these rubber boots to take this in and out. So um, PVC will freeze in the wintertime. Um, this black pipe supposedly won't freeze. So if I ever need to, I can just slip this, this out and replace it with black pipe if I, if I ever need to. So that's the thinking behind it. All right, so there was a change of plans. I was gonna glue this in to the, uh, the black pipe there, just keep it glued in, but I thought that was a bad idea because it um, eliminates some of my flexibility for uh, changing the setup due to weather conditions. So by putting this boot on, it allows me to, if, if I do decide, to take this PVC out because this will freeze in the winter time. If I want to run the waterfall all um, all winter long, I can take this out and just replace it with this black pipe. Supposedly the black pipe won't freeze. So that's the thinking there. And uh, this is one of those things you just you just change as you go and adapt to the situation. All right, so there it is in place. Um, I have these two turned off. And what I'm going to do is, before I go any further, I'm going to turn the waterfall on just to make sure everything's good and um, there's no leaks. Because it's good to just test as you go along, that way you don't wind up having everything put back together and you're just like, oh man, now i got to rip it all apart and start over. So just test yourself as you go along. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn everything on and just run a test to make sure there's no leaks before we go any further. So I'm hooking up my pump back up. And then we're gonna turn the waterfall back on. Okay, now we're going to come over to what we've just done. See, so okay, the that's flowing. Now 
Now as you can see, as you can see right here, this valve is on, so the water's flowing through here. These two are turned off, so the water is going is not going into these pipes here. And as you can see, I see no leaks. The water is starting to come out of the waterfall right now, and it looks like we're in good shape. Okay, so now we're going to hook this up. It's important, according to this manufacturer anyways, to have this end, this is where the light goes. This is going to be, if you're going to install it in a uh, position orientation like this, the light, where the light is, has to be above the other side. If you're going to do it horizontal, that's fine, but if you're going to do it one way or the other, where the light goes in has to be on top. So, put this here. Now it's important to make sure your, your rubber O-ring is uh, in place. And so it's just to hand tighten these. Just gonna do that. Start that one. Come over here. Get that one started. Now I made a little thing for this to sit on. It's not really necessary, but it'll add some stability to everything. So I'm just going to hand tighten these. It says to hand tighten, don't use a wrench. I tend to over tighten things anyways. So I'm glad we put that flex on there because it's allowing me to lift this up a bit to tighten. Okay. Now for the moment of truth. I'm going to Reduce that. You want to open this up, cross your fingers, and hope that uh, water doesn't come flying out at you. Okay, a little water. Alright, I feel water flowing. Okay, so I don't see any leaks, I don't feel any water. Now the manufacturer recommends taking a roll of paper towels before you install your, your bulb and place it inside the, the uh, crystal tube. And the reason for this is to make sure that you have a good seal because if you, have, if you don't have a good seal then you're going to get water on your light and if you get water on your bulb it, the whole thing shot. So it's very important to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the paper towel in, we're going to let it run for about a half hour, that's what they recommend, and we'll come back and check it and make sure everything's good. All right, this is just a quick follow-up. The uh, UV filter's been running for two days. Today's Tuesday, we started on Sunday. And before I couldn't see the bottom, I have three levels. I don't know if you saw the other tutorial I have on the website here, but um, now I can see all three levels. I'm hoping for it to clean up, clear up just a little bit more. And then, it's hard to see from the angle. Let's see what we get down here. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out so far. Hopefully it's going to be a great season.